Hey everyone, I'm not a rock star, and this is the Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke. So, last time, we went through Galar Mine and Route 4, we caught two new party members, Zoom and Spood, and we reached Turfield. Bleh! And we reached Turfield. So, this time, we're going to go to the hill, um, speak with Sonya, and then hopefully battle the gym. I mean, I don't see what's gonna stop us, <laughs> but I don't remember the early parts of the game that well, so there might be <laughs> more annoying story stuff we have to get through, and I have no idea. So we're just gonna keep following Yamper here, and he's gonna just keep stopping us be a real annoyance, and we have to get stopped again. Okay. There's a cool... Um, picture of something there. It's supposed to be a big Pokemon, but I don't know what Pokemon that's even supposed to be. Because it, like, that tail's really weird. Where it's got, like, two spikes going in it or something. So I have no idea what Pokemon that is, or if it's even supposed to be any kind of existing Pokemon. But then there's a bunch of people just kind of falling over. And there's one thing that doesn't even look like a person there. It looks like some kind of dog. And, or it's like a person just laying on their fore, like, laying on their hands and feet. Which would be equally weird. But now that that's done, I'm pretty sure we can go to the gym. But first, actually, I just remembered. I want to go over here and get... Uh, this hidden item, but that's not what I was going for. I wanted to get this hidden item, but that's not what I was going for. There's something down here that I remember being good. Uh, yes, right here, a TM. We got Brutal Swing. Okay, that wasn't super useful. We have that on, um, we have that on... Uh, who do we have it on? We have it on Crush. Yeah, I don't need to check. So, I don't think we'll teach that to anyone, because we... <laughs> if, if you didn't know, I've said it like ten times, we already have it. I'm already... Just <laughs> stumbling over my words. Okay. Oh, okay, well, Hop already got the gym badge. I would have been a lot closer to it if I hadn't been stopped by Sonya. But... Nothing we can do about that. Oh, ball guy. Hello. How are you? Ooh, he gave me a friend ball. Okay. Thanks for that, ball guy. I appreciate it. Okay, we're just gonna go right into the battle. Uh, yes. Uh, actually. Do I have healing items? Because you're not allowed to leave once you enter. I have a super potion. Is this a shop or is this just- Oh yes, this is a Pokemart, okay. Um, we're gonna buy like 15 potions. Uh, no, I have Petra Berries, so I don't need them. I uh, don't need revives. I can't use them. Okay, well, let's go start the gym challenge. Anytime you do, you have to switch into your gym uniform, which is just like white <laughs> I'm not sure why they did this it's kind of I guess it's kind of for like the soccer feel because it's all based around like a big soccer game slash football because this is in this region's inspired by Europe so maybe I should be saying football but I don't care um but it's just like I'm really strange thing for them to just get you to change because every time you start a gym you have to do that few seconds of running over to the uh, left and then it fades to black and then you run back to the right with your uniform on like you can't customize it at all you're just stuck with this outfit and it's only used here well I think you can change into it um, in the overworld but anyways our goal for the gym is to push all these wooloo into this pen. It's the horse game from 
uh, Twilight Princess all over again. Everyone loved that the first time, right? So we're just gonna push these guys here. And there we go. Just like the Wooloo did to us last episode, we are go- Well, they are going to, not we. They are going to slam into those hay bales full force. Okay, so this time, the Yamper scares all the Wooloo away. So you just have to kind of time it right. And once all the Wooloos are kept together, it's pretty easy keeping them together because then they're all just a central mass that you can push without having to worry about them being widespread and all splitting up. So now that we've done that, there's a trainer waiting here to fight us. Um, who's in the lead right now? Spoot is. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's just go in. I'm really worried for the gym because Dynamaxing is a thing. I'm not- I have no idea right now when I want to Dynamax. Because if I don't have my Dynamax for my- or for their Pokemon, for that, if I use my Dynamax too early, then I'll be fighting their Dynamax Pokemon with my normal Pokemon. So that would be not good. So I want to time it right so that I get to use my Dynamax and like take advantage of it and have it to fight theirs. But I have no idea how I want to go about it. I don't even know who I want to lead with because with the set battle style, um, it's not like we can switch. Yeah, so the Yamper scares him away. Uh, but he just kind of sent us down this path, which is an easier way to go through this. So we're gonna do just that. Oh, this one's getting in the way. Okay, there we go. So we cleared that easy, but there was a trainer back there that I want to fight. Because you can only- you only have one chance to fight the trainers in the gym. So... If you don't fight them, it's essentially free XP you're missing out on. And since they're really easy fights for Spood, it it can help him get up to level before <laughs> uh, he has to fight in the gym. Because I want to be able to use him, but if I don't get enough levels on him, it wouldn't be a smart idea. Um, I think Badoo's Grass Poison, so Bug won't- yeah, it says Bug's only neutral effective. So I'm just gonna switch to Zoom then. And we're just gonna flame charge it to death. Okay, absorb does nothing. I don't think this will kill it, but the next one will. Oh, that one did kill it. I guess it's only level 16. Okay. Uh, what's the next Pokemon? Ooh, Spood got a level up. Nice. So did Claydol. Oddish. That's also a poison type, so I can't switch to Spood for the XP. We're just gonna flame charge again. Ooh, Oddish barely survived. Wow. That's honestly just kind of annoying. Because then we have to waste more PP of our moves. But I don't think I'll be using <laughs> all 20 flame charge during the shim battle, so I don't think it matters actually. I just want a reason to complain, I guess. Hmm. What? What did he say? He said something about bow work like a yamper. That- oh! Speaking of yamper, there it is. Okay. Well, let's just continue moving on this. Uh, okay. Sneak it- no, that- okay, well, I'm just gonna ignore that one. No! Oh, yes, the yamper just fixed that. They were all splitting up and the Emperor just helped me out. Thanks, bud. Okay, we got two Wooloo that left the pack. I was talking earlier about how easy this is, so of course I'm having trouble with it. Uh, push that guy in there. Um, yeah, let's just fight the trainer now, why not? Because that way I don't have to go back after I've already done everything. She looks very, like, I don't know. Her eyes just make her look very weird. I can't tell what expression that's even supposed to be. But 
whatever, she's not gonna be here for long. Okay, that didn't do too much. Speed increased, though. Uh, no, that was not enough for that to go first, okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think of things to say, but all I can think of is this gym. Oh, uh, no. I'm very worried right now. Uh, nope. I'm gonna have to switch. Um, I'll switch to Winner. Why not? He's got Wing Attack. And one thing I like to do with my Pokemon before every gym is I like to sort them by how useful they're gonna be. So, like, oh, Acid did a lot. Uh, I'll be fine. It's okay. Wing attack. Oh wow, that didn't do too much. Oh, poison powder. <laughs> Missed. I guess it's only like 75% accurate, so it's gonna miss sometimes. Um, but I like to sort my Pokemon by how useful they're gonna be. So the Pokemon that are like super effective will be at the top, like Spood and Zoom. Then Pokemon that'll be like pretty neutral, like Wingle, because he has a super effective move, but he's also just neutral against grass would go in like the middle, then Pokemon that are weak to it would go at the bottom, like um, Claydol, because he's ground. So that way, I just have a better visual indicator. What? What is this Wooly doing? Go. What? What is wrong? Yes, go. Okay. There we go. Easy. I didn't struggle at all. So we're gonna knock those hay bales out of the way. And split up. Okay. Well, that's it for the gym puzzle. It was very difficult, I know. So we're going to heal up our Pokemon. And prepare. I'm gonna really sort by type, because that auto puts healing items at the top, which is nice. Heal up these three. I bought way more potions than I needed, but I'll need them eventually. So, I stick by my decision. Um, so I'm gonna do exactly what I said. I'm gonna put that there, and then yeah, okay, that's pretty well sorted. It's about time we finally fight our first gym. We have, who, who's the team member we've had for the longest? Is it Winner or Crush? Because we both got them in the wild area, I just don't remember who we got first. I think we got Crush first. Because we got Crush in the area in front of um, Motostoke. And then... Or is it Motostoke? Yeah. It's Motostoke, I believe. Um, then we got... Um, winner as we were actually heading into Motostoke. Because that was post-starter era. <laughs> Crush was pre-starter era. Um, okay, yep, yeah, Milo's just talking about how weak he is. Like, he literally says, I'm the first gym leader people fight. So he's basically just saying, I'm insanely weak and easy to beat. Like, <laughs> that's not a good way to introduce yourself, you know? Also, the Gym Leader song is one of the best songs in this game, I'm just saying. Um, okay, we're gonna get right into this. In this battle, you can Dynamax. So, uh, what Dynamaxing does is you click this button, and your moves change into a different move based on what type they are. So all Bug moves will turn into Max Flutterby, all Electric moves will turn into Max Lightning, and any move that isn't an attack move like, Thunder Wave's an Electric-type move, but it doesn't do direct damage, turns into Max Guard. So, for example, um, Max Flutterby. Uh, every Max move increases the base power and has a secondary effect. So Max Flutterby lowers the target's special attack. Max Lightning creates Electric Terrain, which buffs the power of Electric moves and I think prevents Pokémon from going to sleep. And Max Guard is basically Protect, so it makes you immune to any form of damage that turn. Um, I think we're just gonna Bug Bite, because I feel like I can kill this Gossifleur without Dynamaxing. Okay, Magical Leaf, is this gonna do a whole lot? No. 
Oh, I should also mention that Dynamaxing gives you a health increase. So, when you Dynamax, you'll have- you'll become more bulky, naturally. Okay, round... Okay. I think, tactical move, we switch to zoom before we kill the Gossifleur, so that when we kill it, um, we're ready to Dynamax right away. Because the Gym Leader will also Dynamax their Pokémon, but they always Dynamax the last Pokémon they have. So since Milo has two Pokémon, the next one he sends out he'll Dynamax turn one. So, bleh. So if we have to spend a turn switching into Karkul, then we have to take a hit from his Dynamax Pokémon, which means that when we Dynamax we'll have less health, and we don't want that. Okay, and this is where the song gets really good. When anyone has one Pokémon left, the crowd joins in. I just had to let you hear that because that song, or this song, is so good. It's probably my favorite song from the whole game. So we're both Dynamaxing our Pokémon, and I used Max Flare. So what that does is it's a strong fire type move that also sets Intense Sun. So what that does is it increases the power of fire type moves and decreases the power of water type moves, but it also, um, gives moves such as um, solar, ah, bleh, solar Beam, the ability to activate turn 1 instead of charging up. But because it's a max Pokemon, it won't be able to take advantage of that. Okay, so he's probably going to use max overgrowth. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to set grassy terrain. Okay, yeah, that doesn't do anything. And what grassy terrain does is it heals any Pokemon that is touching the ground by, I think, 1 16th at the end of every turn. So we're both gonna heal a tiny bit. But this turn, now that we have Sun, Max Flare is gonna do even more damage. Will it kill, though? I don't think so. Oh, it does. Wow. Sun gives a bigger boost than I thought. Well, that gym was a lot easier than I expected. Well, I guess, to be fair, I was expecting the gym to be hard before I got Zoom and Spood, because if I had just Winner, My Champ, Crush, and Claydol, that would have been so bad. Ooh, Crush wants to learn Strength. Wow. That's an 80 base power move. Um, I think we're gonna get rid of Payback, because Brutal Swing does more base damage. Payback does more if the enemy goes first, but then it'll only be stronger sometimes, whereas, like, Brutal Swing's more consistent, so I'd rather have that. There we go, we got a bit of money. And here, it's time for the awkwardly long handshake. Like, after this, you just kind of shake hands, and just pay attention, because this just goes on for so long. And if you don't advance this text box, then the handshake never ends. And there we go. Awkwardly long handshake over. And we get the TM for Magical Leaf. Magical Leaf, I think, is 55 base power, and it never misses. So even if you have your accuracy reduced by 6, which is the lowest a stat can be decreased or increased, it'll hit no matter what. So it can be useful when Pokemon are being annoying and using evasion, or that kind of thing. Um, but how much power is it? Because I don't- okay, it's 60. No one can learn it anyways. Mm, pin Missile's not consistent. I'm just gonna sort by number. And then, and then move on. 
Do I have Pokeballs, actually? Because I know I have Quick Balls, which I promise you I am going to use. Okay, yes, we do have some Pokeballs. So I don't need to worry about that. Let's head on to the next route. Actually, did my Pokemon get healed? I keep... Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll leave Spood in the front. He's low-leveled. We're just gonna head on over to the next town, then. Or, well, not really the next town. I don't know if we're gonna make it there, but we're gonna get to the next route. Which is Route 5. I guess I should have expected that, <laughs> because the routes are literally just counting up in number. Okay, time for a double battle. Um, I don't know if we've done a double battle yet. But just in case we haven't, double battles are a bit interesting. Oh, that is like the worst team of two you could have done. Okay. Um, so in a double battle, it makes sense that you control two Pokemon. I'm going to start by switching out Spood for, um, my champ. And with Zoom, what we can do is when we use a move like Flame Charge, we can pick who to hit. And you can also hit your teammate. So, I'm, I feel like I've mentioned this before. Like, this conversation sounds familiar. But just in case I haven't, um, in a double battle, hitting yourself can be useful. Because you can have an ability or something that buffs you when you get hit by a certain type of move. But this adds a lot more strategy because there's two Pokemon, so it's like, do you want to split your attacks between the two of them, or do you want to solo into one Pokemon? It's... Like, double battles have a bit- like, are a bit more interesting, in my opinion. Um, we're just gonna go for a low sweep to finish off Clink, or no. Uh, go back. We are going to go for- I feel like- Heliopsal's gotta be faster than my champ. And then we're gonna flame charge Clink. Because Zoom will go first. This way, Clink doesn't get to go. So now it's a uh, two versus one, which gives us a big advantage. And who goes first? Heliopsal or my champ? Okay, Heliopsal does, but he doesn't hit my champ anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, revenge. Will this kill? Yes. Nice. Heliopsal is a Pokemon that I always forget is normal type. Because it's normal electric, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, scary face, I don't like. It reduces speed by two. Well, there we go. First question mark double battle over with. And we all know that new route means new Pokemon. And new Pokemon means coin flip. Actually, I don't have my coin flip open, so for now we're just gonna keep moving on. And we're going to head into this Pokemon nursery. So, if you talk to this person, they give you a Toxel. Which is a little baby thing. It's right there. It's the purple thing. So now we have a Toxel. Um, we're gonna name it, uh, Baby. Because, uh, oh no, I don't want it in my party. Because I have Spood. Yeah. But, I'm calling him Baby, because when you look at him from behind, he's literally wearing, like, a diaper. And it's very confusing. Oh, we got five extra small XP candies. Uh, uh, those XP candies are items you can give to Pokemon, and it just gives them XP. Uh, but during that time, I pulled up the coin flip, so we're gonna do that. And... Head! Er, no, Tails. Wow. I can speak. Er, yeah. Blech. So we're just gonna have to go into the grass and encounter something randomly. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this Machino is dedicated to getting me. Oh, let me get that grass encounter. There we go. Oh, a Dottler. Okay. Not sure if I really like that, but 
It's what we got. Uh, there's the quick ball. In you go, buddy. It kind of matches your color palette. You got, like, some yellow on you. I don't think you have much blue, but you got yellow. So it it'll look nice. Yeah. Quick ball's OP. So we got a dollar. Um, I don't think I want that either. Dottler is a very defensive Pokemon. It gets both Light Screen and Reflect, which are very good for, um, like, increasing survivability. But I feel like I like my current team. Okay, the Shed Shell that lets you run from any battle if your Pokemon's holding it. I don't think I'm gonna bother giving that to anyone. Um, okay, we're just gonna sneak through all these wild Pokemon. Grab the Heal Balls. Heal Balls are kind of useless <laughs> in Pokemon, I feel. Because how Heal Balls work is when you catch a Pokemon with them, it fully heals them and restores any status conditions. But if you send them to the box, they get fully healed anyways. So it only matters if you're directly adding them to your party, which doesn't happen that often. Okay. Applin. Oh, I don't fight enough of these to know what type it is. I know it's grass, but I'm pretty sure it's dragon. I know that when it evolves it becomes a grass dragon, but I don't know if I don't know if it's a grass dragon yet. So we're just gonna bug bite and see. If it's super effective, then we'll just stay in. It looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a crit. Wow. I guess it did use Withdraw, so... That did about as much as I should have expected. But even without a crit, I think we'll kill it this turn. No. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, guess we just have to wait another turn. And there we go. Easy. Paralysis isn't being as useful as I want it to be. Um, actually, what do we even have to fight the water gym? Oh no. I might want to take the Toxel then. Because he is electric type. But he's not that useful until, like, he evolves, which is <laughs> nowhere near right now. So I don't know if it's worth it, actually. Um, let me look at my team quickly. Um, he'll be good for the water gym. He's gonna die at the water gym. Winner could be fine. Um, my champ and crush would be good for the Tredna. Claydol would be absolutely useless. So, I don't want to bother training Zoom or Claydol right now. But I'll stick with my team and just train up those four. Okay, time to fight a breeder. The Pokemon breeders in this game are very weird. Like, why are the noses such perfect spheres? It just... It looks wrong. Like, having the nose be that way. Or, well, they're not spheres. Did I say they're spheres? They're more like ovals. And it's like, they're... They're too... Long. I don't know how to describe it. But I think when you look at it, you can <laughs> immediately understand that something is wrong. It just takes a while to identify what. Oh my god, you're gonna use a potion. Not even the gym leaders use potions, they're nice enough not to. That's one thing I really like about this game, but at the same time I'm not sure if I do. Because in the old games, gym leaders would have like two potions each to use. So, if you got them down to low health, they'd use it, and then you basically have to kill the Pokemon again. So it was kind of annoying, but then, the fact that it's removed just makes the game easier. Actually, I'm gonna switch out Spood. Um, because if there's less, um, because if they don't heal, that means there's less, essentially, Pokemon to fight. So, I'm not sure if I like the change or not. Oh, no, Razor Leaf. Okay, that's fine. But I think overall I'm happy that gym leaders don't spam potions. Okay, play nice, what does that do? Lower my attack. 
Uh, yeah, of course it does. I don't think we're gonna kill it this turn then. I'm really scared of. Oh, we did kill it. Okay, but I'm really scared of Razor Leaf because it's got a high crit chance. So I think in. I think it like doubles the chance of a crit. I have no idea. But Winner's gonna learn Water Pulse. That's just a stronger water gun that has a chance to confuse. And how confusion works is it's just a 33% chance to hit yourself instead of hitting the opponent. And the damage you do will be based on your attack stat. So if you have a higher attack stat, if you hit yourself, you're gonna do more damage than if you had a lower attack stat. So we're gonna quickly heal up here. And then fight this breeder. What's he gonna have? I think the male breeder looks fine, but it's just the female Pokemon breeder looks very scary. Okay, uh, Bug resists fighting, but it's not like it's good against fighting or anything. So we're just gonna go back into winner. Um, I could have also gone into my champ if I wanted to because stuff was part normal, but whatever. Okay, Leer. Uh, that worries me a bit. I don't think Stuffle can have revenge, so I don't have to worry about that. Ooh, that did nothing. Brutal Swing, how much is this gonna do? More than I want it to. Okay, yeah, we're going to go into my champ. Oh, that's scary. Okay, my champ. It's. Oh, no, it's gonna use Leer. Okay. Well, based off of my Stuffle, it's really only going to have Dark-type moves to fight. And fighting resists Dark, so... Yeah, he's just kind of using Leer because can't do much damage. Okay, we're going to use Revenge. Bonk him. Oh, wow. That killed. I didn't expect it to. Well, that makes my job easier, so I'm not complaining. Ooh, Waltz. That is not the Pokemon you want to be fighting, my champ. Um, I don't really have anyone to fight Psychic Fairy. Um, do I? Uh, no. Um, let's quickly go to Summary. Who's got good special defense? Zoom has 41. Okay, yeah, I feel like Zoom's our best bet then. Because Zoom and Claydol both have high special defense, but Zoom's <laughs> way better at attacking. Because Ralts has um, horrible defense, I believe. So if we can hit it physically instead of specially, that'll be good for us. Um, let's just use Flame Charge to get a speed buff. Oh wow, that didn't kill. Draining Kiss, don't do a whole lot, please. I want to be able to kill you. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to kill. Unless I get an insanely low roll on damage. Please don't get an insanely low roll on damage. Yes. Hmm. Well, that was easy. But I... What was the next po- Yeah, okay, they did have another Pokemon. Oh, it's Cutie Fly. I think Cutie Fly is bug type, actually. So, Flame Charge should be. S no, it should be neutral effective. Or no, yeah, it should be super effective. Fairy type really confuses me because it's the newest type, so I've had the least time to figure out its, like, weaknesses, resistances, and all that. Because I know what it's super effective against, and I know what it's weak to. But I can never remember what resists it and what it resists. Um, so like... Uh, because I was getting confused there. Since, uh, I don't want Electro Ball. But I was getting confused because, um, Fire-type resists Fairy-type. And I thought Fairy resisted Fire. But that was just me mixing it all up. So we're just gonna go on this bridge or not 
This guy is getting assaulted by Team Yell. And we're gonna step in. So like, this is another thing that I think makes sense for Team Yell to do. Because, um, this guy here, he has a bike. And Team Yell's trying to take it from him. Because like, he's a part of the gym challenge and they don't want him being able to make it to all the gyms. <laughs> if they take his bike, he's gonna be a lot slower, so he's not gonna be able to do the gym challenge, which means bleh, which means Marnie is going to have an advantage. So I think Team Yell's pretty good. I like them, um, but they're insanely easy to fight because they all have dark types, so I can just kind of use Bug Bite and kill them all. Quick attack, okay. Bug Bite, I don't think we'll kill because this is an evolved Pokemon. Yeah. But it's going down this time. Just gonna use Quick Attack again, okay. Well, goodbye. Easy. Ooh, Crush leveled up. Nope, didn't learn anything. Okay. And now, because this guy's bike didn't get stolen, he's gonna give us his bike instead. Oh, no, we have to fight this guy too. Well, yeah, this guy, he's like, oh, thank you for saving me, they were gonna steal my bike. Here, you can have my bike that they were trying to steal. So, like, I don't understand that, because I'm trying to save you so that your bike doesn't get stolen. But then you're giving me your bike. So, what I just did for you was completely invalidated. So, I guess, I mean, I like the bike, it's good, I'm glad he gives it to you, but I don't understand why he gives it to you. It just seems kind of dumb. Okay, he's gonna scratch. Sableye's a very weird Pokemon, because he's Ghost Dark type, and in the old games, like before the introduction of Fairy type, Ghost Dark had zero weaknesses. So, it was a very good type, since there's nothing that can just hit it really hard. But then they introduced Fairy, and now Fairy's good against Dark. So, then this type got a bit worse, but it's still really good, because it only has one weakness, and like a lot of resistances, I'm pretty sure. And a few immunities because of the Ghost type. So, it, basically it's a pretty good typing overall, only Sableye... And I think, uh, what's the Pokemon's name? Um, oh no, I can't think of it. It's a Gen 4 Pokemon. Uh, Spiritomb. Spiritomb? Yeah, I think it's Spiritomb. So, only Sableye and Spiritomb have that typing. Which is, like, it's a pretty uncommon type matchup, obviously, because it's pretty good. Um... And, anyways, with all that rambling, saying the same thing over and over, I'm willing to bet I did. But, we're gonna end that- bet. <laughs> we're gonna end this episode off here. So, next time on the Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke, we're going to hopefully reach the next town, which is Hullbury, I believe. Uh, yeah. Next time, we're going to reach Hullbury, and maybe fight the gym there. So, See you guys then.